Hi, welcome to Finnevise. In the 1960s, the hot topic was the space race, and Russia and the United States were competing to be the first to walk on the moon. But now, it's all about the AI race, and here comes the Russian chatbots, GigaChats. Whether you like it or not, Russia continues to position itself as the world's rival in technological development. This time, as a powerful rival to the famous American GPT, ChatGPT. Stepping on the heels of American startups from OpenAI, Russia biggest bank, Spurbank, shocked the entire AI industry by launching GigaChat, a neural network intended to compete with ChatGPT. This is the most shocking reveal of the year that has left everyone speechless. No one was expecting it. In recent months, Russia has made headlines due to the invasion of Ukraine. The rest of the world has closed many channels of communication with Russia, so many of them, and depriving the country of different types of support. However, for several years now, several private companies in Russia have started investing ruggedly in many sectors so as to make the country self-sufficient. On Monday, 24th of April, 2023, the world witnessed one of the first tangible results from these years of research and investment. GigaChat from Sparebank has all the functionality of GPT chat with other impressive abilities and still communicates intelligently in Russian. According to Sparebank, what distinguishes GigaChat from other global neural networks is its capacity to converse more intelligently in Russian, which is extremely important in a country like Russia where a substantial part of the population prefers to communicate in Russian. Spurbank's website has an article titled GigaChat vs. ChatGPT. Spur opens access to its latest neural network model, which highlights all its features and complete detail about the AI. But sadly, it's only accessible in Russia, unless you're cool with installing Russian Ministry of Digital Development certificates on your browser. But from the information we gathered, it was stated that GigaChat could converse, write messages, answer questions, but also write code and create images from descriptions, a feature that ChatGPT currently lacks. Spurbank CEO Herman Greff described GigaChat as a breakthrough for the entire universe of Russian technology. It's important to note that GigaChat can be used not only by those who love to experiment with new technologies, but also by students and even researchers for serious scientific work," he added. Greff once served as a Minister of Economic Development during Russian President Vladimir Putin's first two terms in power, so he has always been passionate about the country's economic growth. Since Western countries have cut their exports to Russia by imposing severe sanctions over Moscow's activities in Ukraine, the bank has been investing in emerging technologies in an effort to lessen the country's reliance on imports and foreign technology. For instance, a few months ago, Sparebank announced a nearly 80% fall in net profits in 2022, following its exclusion from the SWIFT financial transfer system and withdrawal from the European markets after the invasion. Also, since the launch of ChatGPT in November, ChatGPT has geofenced itself in Russia preventing users from accessing its services from the country. The bank had to invest heavily in this AI and hopes that GigaChat will help drive innovation and transform how people work and conduct business in Russia. Spurbank's entry into this race was very timely because it was fast becoming a necessity to foster domestic innovation. Beyond the technical characteristics of Russia's AI, there is something weird about the name of this new AI. GigaChat sounds like GigaChad, a well-known meme used online to define alpha male, a model often exalted by Moscow and Putin. It's difficult to say whether it is a deliberate connection or a mere coincidence. Is Russia trying to send a message of cultural opposition to the West by exalting the values of virility and masculinity? What do you think, viewers? Do share in the comment section. We have no idea when the new AI will be accessible to the public. According to a report from Business Today and other reliable sources, GigaChat is at the moment exclusively available to a small community of testers who can sign up to participate in the testing process through a closed Telegram channel. We stumbled on this caption from the Telegram group on Twitter, which read thus, 
Welcome to the closed Telegram channel GigaChat. This is the first multi-model neural network model, which unlike ChatGPT, has an excellent knowledge of Russian and can create images. And also, to keep up the conversation, answer factual questions, follow instructions, brainstorm, and much more. Channel subscribers will be the first to receive a link to it and will be among the first users of Russian generative AI. The neural network will be especially useful for journalists, editors, programmers, teachers, students, marketers, and representatives of other professions whose work is related to text, code, and creativity. Salut, GigaChat. The Russians, with their GigaChat, are ready to shatter the competition. There is no doubt about that. The GigaChat Google extension is out already, just a couple of days after unveiling the AI compared to OpenAI that took almost five months to release the ChatGPT Chrome extension. The phenomenal success of ChatGPT has led to a chaotic rush to create alternative AI products. This rush has taken on tech's greatest giants as well as endless startups as they compete for space in the emerging industry. And China is not behind either. Anyone who believes China will rely on the United States for generative AI is not living on this planet, as a swarm of Chinese tech giants and startups have joined the train. Even though little is known about Ernie's capabilities, Chinese internet firm Baidu has been using it in its search engine services since March. Tencent, the parents' company of WeChat, Alibaba, JD.com, and Tencent have all stated that they are working on their own ChatGPT-like products. Though information remains limited, and no exact launch dates have been announced, according to Reuters, these Chinese AI tools will also be able to communicate in the country's native dialects. In addition, Tesla and Twitter CEO Elon Musk also announced that he is working on an alternative to ChatGPT, which he named TruthGPT. It will act as a maximum truth-seeking AI. After severely criticizing OpenAI, the millionaire later disclosed his intentions in a recent interview with Tucker Carlson on Fox News. He intends to develop an AI named TruthGPT that will assist in understanding our universe's mysteries and truth-speaking without being politically biased. When will this truth-speaking AI become accessible to the public? At the moment, there is no specific timeline for TruthGPT's release. Elon Musk only announced it's an ongoing project. He never shared any other info about TruthGPT, not even a hint as to what we should expect of his features. But with the emergence of all these groundbreaking AIs, such as BARD, AutoGPT, GPT-4, Baidu's Ernie, etc., can Elon Musk beat the existing competition? Obviously, he wasn't expecting the sudden release of Russia's competitive AI that is currently sweeping over the entire AI industry. While ChatGPT may have resulted in the emergence of AI chatbots, the debate for regulation has increasingly intensified as well. Just a few weeks ago, the alarm went off within the industry when more than 5,000 people signed an open letter urging a pause in AI development, saying that if researchers do not pull back in this out-of-control race, governments should step in. Italy became the first Western country to ban ChatGPT temporarily a day later. Italy temporarily banned ChatGPT over allegations that its data collection broke privacy laws. It has since requested that OpenAI modify its chatbot so that it can be back online in the country by the end of April. France's regulator also said it had opened a formal procedure after receiving five complaints earlier this month. At the same time, Spain's AEPD Data Protection Agency also announced it had begun an investigation into the software and its US owner. Recently, Germany joined other European governments in probing ChatGPT's usage of personal data, demanding answers from its programmer, OpenAI. Regional data protection authorities in Europe compiled a questionnaire for OpenAI and expect a response by June 11th, said Merit Hansen, commissioner for the northern state of Schleswig-Holstein. We are asking OpenAI for information on issues arising from the European General Data Protection Regulation. GDPR, he added. It is clear now that with the launch of highly influential text and image generative models like ChatGPT4, its risks and challenges are becoming more disturbing. Some artists express concern about their careers being threatened by image-generating AIs. 
How about the potential impact on the film industry? It is intriguing to think that a few years from now, we will be able to create an entire movie with a single prompt. Text-to-video software already exists. Imagine a tailor-made movie crafted for each individual. The possibilities for AI are genuinely staggering. Also, if Bill Gates is to be believed, AI will soon start tutoring kids at school in a couple of months from now. The open letter penned by the Future of Life Institute cautioned that AI systems with human competitive intelligence could become a significant threat to humanity. Among the risks includes the possibility of AI outsmarting humans, rendering us obsolete and taking control of civilization. Come to think of it, Elon Musk and other experts keep warning of the potential dangers of AI while simultaneously investing in its advancement. That is where the issue of AI regulation comes into play. Though necessary, it won't be as easy as we envisage. The battle for regulation has always placed governments and giant tech companies against each other. Ironically, there are still a few major US tech giants missing from the AI race. For instance, Amazon, which has been working on similar tech for a while, announced a partnership with Hugging Face, an AI startup to create a chat GPT rival. Apple has been notably absent from the AI race among US giants, but is reportedly making moves showing a launch is on the horizon. The parent company of WhatsApp, Facebook, and Instagram, Meta, a longtime leader in the AI sector, is apparently more than capable of competing with ChatGPT. However, it is refrained from concern that its AI tool could worsen the inaccurate, biased, or misleading content that already plagues its platforms. I also thought of another thing. Since quite a few European countries have banned ChatGPT, is there a possibility that Russia's GigaChat will become widely acceptable and accessible all around Europe? Not minding the war and sanctions? I need to hear from you guys in the comment section. However, there are possibilities that Russia's GigaChat might not have that much of an impact on the global scale, since it excels majorly in the Russian language and not so much in foreign languages. Anyways, let's wait and see. AI is the future. We know that for real. Enjoyed this video? Now watch this.